Okay, so we're looking now at um, a concept known as molar concentration. Okay, so we're going to look at many different types of ways to calculate concentration. This is the most common way um, that chemists will refer to concentration. Okay, so molar concentration also goes by a few other terms. One is called molarity. Another one is molality which sounds weird. Um, either way, all of them mean molar concentration. So what does that mean? So if you remember, concentration is always the amount of solute over the amount of solution you have. Okay, it's basically a ratio of solute in your solution. So this way is basically showing it or expressing it in terms of moles per liter. So the ratio of solute to solution here is in the units of moles per liter. Okay, so here's our formula. So it's always solute over solution. It just happens to be the unit that we're dealing with. So molar concentration, the units are moles per liter, or they can be represented, you can write moles slash L, or you can use capital M, it's the same thing. How we're gonna solve for that is we have our number of moles. So this is solute moles over the volume of the solution and the units matter here. So remember, this has to be the concentration in moles per liter. So the unit has to be moles in the numerator and liters in the denominator. And really the way of going through this is just to look at a bunch of different examples. So calculate the molarity of a sodium hydroxide solution containing 0 0.186 moles of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 250 milliliters of water. So we are looking to solve for the concentration lowercase c concentration is we don't know we have the moles though we have 0 0.186 moles and the volume is 250 milliliters of water and you should get into the habit of converting this right here because we know concentration for molarity is moles per liter so c is equal to n over v so we're just going to simply plug this in. So this one's nice and straightforward. Really, the hardest part is remembering what units things have to be in so that you get the correct answer. So this is 0 0.744 moles per liter, or capital M. And the significant digits here is 2. So it's 0 0.74 moles per liter. So you can write it like this or you can write it like this, they are both correct. Okay, let's look at another example. How many moles of hydrogen bromide, right, HBr, are found in 500 milliliters of a 2.5 mole per liter solution? Okay, so first of all, we're looking for the number of moles. We have the volume, so always look at the units, right? So the volume is 500 milliliters. We're going to convert that right away because we cannot deal with milliliters if we're dealing with moles per liter. And we are given the concentration, 2.5 capital M, which is the same thing as saying moles per liter. So we're simply rearranging the formula here. So we want to isolate for N. So right now it's being divided by V. So we have to multiply by V on both sides to cancel it and get N isolated on its own. So N is equal to V times C. So we have here the volume 0 0.500 liters times 2.5. This is really moles per liter, right? Just to show you the unit cancellation there. So this ends up being, this is a decimal, uh, 0 0.5 times 2.5. We get 1.25 moles. And actually, we only want one significant digit because of the 500. So this rounds to one mole, which is not really the greatest. But I mean, 
one sig fig, what are you going to do? So there's our answer. Now, we can also incorporate what we learned last unit. So instead of being given the mole value, we could be given the mass. So for example, what would the concentration of a solution be if 4.10 grams of magnesium nitrate is dissolved in 850 milliliters of water to create the solution? Okay, so we're looking for concentration. We have the mass of magnesium nitrate which is MgNO32, which is 4.10 grams. And we have the volume, 850 milliliters. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause the video for a second. Okay, so the mass of magnesium nitrate is 4.10 grams. The volume is 850 milliliters. We're going to convert that right away because we know we need it in liters, right? So, uh, concentration is moles per liter, right? C is equal to N over V. We have volume right now, but we do not have the moles. However, we have the mass. So if you recall, we can solve for the moles by doing mass over the molar mass. So the molar mass for this is going to be one, magnesium, two nitrogen, and six oxygens. So let's take a look. Let me grab my periodic table here. Mm -hmm. Ptable.com. Okay, so we have here, so we have one magnesium, so that's 24.30. Plus 2 times 14.01 plus 6 times 16. Okay, so we get a molar mass here of 148.32 grams per mole. So our mole value ends up being 4.10 grams over 148.32 grams per mole. So 4.10 divided by that. So we get here 0 0.02764 moles. And now we can plug into solve for concentration. So we're going to do moles divided by the volume, which was in liters, 0 0.850 liters. So we do that divided by this. So we get... 0 0.03252 moles per liter. And actually for sig figs, we need two sig figs. So this ends up being 0 0.033 moles per liter, right? Because after the five, there are more numbers there. So this would round up to the three. Okay, so give this one a try. There are two to try out, so do this one for now. So what volume of a 0 0.75 mole per liter solution would contain 2.1 moles of calcium phosphate? So give this one a try, pause the video. Okay, so we have here, we wanna know the volume, we have the concentration, and we have the mole value. So if C is equal to N over V, and we try to rearrange this, right? So we want to bring V up here. So N is equal to V times C, but we want V to be alone. So we are going to isolate for C. So V is equal to N over C. So it's really the same formula. You're just rearranging to solve for V in this case. So V is equal to 2.1 moles over 0 0.75 moles per liter. So we end up getting 2.8 liters, and that's already two sig figs. So that's our final answer there. Okay, so try out this next one. 
So to study part of the water treatment process in a lab, a student requires 1.50 liters of a 0 0.2, so pardon me, 0 0.12 mole per liter of aluminum sulfate solution. What mass of aluminum sulfate must be measured out to create this solution? All right, give this a try. You should be able to do this at this point in time. Okay, so let's talk about this here. So we have a volume of 1.50 liters and a concentration of 0 0.12 moles per liter. So we want to eventually solve for the mass of aluminum sulfate. So just to recap what that formula is, because we're going to need that for the molar mass in a second. We need to first solve for moles, right? The only way to go from concentration and volume to mass is we need to have the moles. So C is equal to N over V. So N is equal to C times V. And actually our units are already nice and in the correct unit of liters. So 0 0.12 times 1.5. So we get 0 0.18 moles. And we can now solve for mass by doing moles times the molar mass. So for the molar mass here, we have two aluminum, we have three sulfur, and we're going to have uh, 12 oxygens. So the mass is 1, 0.18 moles times, let's get the molar mass here, 26.98 times 2 plus 3 times 32.06 plus 12 times 16. So we get 342.14 grams per mole times 0 0.18. So you should have a mass value here of 61.5852 grams. And our sig figs is only two. So actually this rounds to 62 grams. Right, so what does this mean? This translates into, if I wanted to make this, if I wanted to make 1.5 liters with this concentration, I would have to weigh out 62 grams of aluminum sulfate and dissolve it in water until we hit 1.5 liters. All right. Okay, so keep in mind there are many ways of calculating concentration. This is one of them. You'll see more as we continue in this chapter.